Welcome back everyone, we're using Mayansha with the Choice Scarf. It's a very consistent speed control and I'm glad I have Stone Edge on it for their Charizard in this game. We're fighting Panana Beal. I'm gonna lead off with my... Let's lead Lottie. Lottie doesn't really have a bad lead here. It threatens everything. If they lead off with the Torkoal, I'm not really scared of anything Torkoal wants to do. I do wish I had the Draco Meteor in this game, but Luster Purge also looks amazing. They don't have any counters to that. So they lead Charizard. This shouldn't be able to do too much to me, I would imagine, right? I mean, I could switch into, like, Gliscor, but Weather Ball is going to hurt. Let's just go for the Luster Purge. Okay, it is Zard Y. This Weather Ball is going to hurt, but... Oh, they just made a mistake. <laughs> now you have to switch into Luster Purge, dude. Can I get another drop? We do, but it looks like the next one doesn't kill. So I'm just going to go into... I don't know. If I had Draco here, this would be amazing. They might Terra Fairy anyway. Let's go Heatran. I don't think I need Heatran necessarily. They do Terra Fairy Draco, so this is a chance for me to get up my rocks and see how they want to respond. I could also Magma Storm, but we're going to miss that, and they do have some switch to that move. Goes for Volt Switch, weirdly enough. If they go Tusk, I'm staying in. They're going to spin, and I want to Magma Storm it. I can already see myself missing. Oh, they go Lilligant. I feel like this has to be clicking Victory Dance or something. Oh, they just go for CC. Okay. That's fine, though, because now I get to go Lottie, and you don't have a counter this time. So let's go ahead and Luster Purge this Mon twice to knock it out. They can Thunderclap me. I don't care, but I'm getting my KO. They choose not to. This is looking really bad for them. Let's Luster Purge this Mon. Doesn't kill, unfortunately. I really thought that would. Um, I'll Mystical Fire here, just because I can. Okay, so they're going to go Gouging Fire now, right? No, they want to go Lilligant for the Chlorophyll, huh? This has to be Triple Axel, I think. So let's go Samurott on it. There it is, okay. So lots of Sun Turns, which is the problem right now. But we can weaken this here, so... How am I going to deal with this after? This thing is too big of a problem. Maybe Terra Fairy Gliscor on the Triple Axel. I think I just Sucker Punch here for damage. It does a lot. And then I believe if I want to win, the correct path right now is... It's got to be Gliscor and Terra Fairy Earthquake. There we go. We take the Triple Axel, knock it out right there. I don't know how this works in the end. I'm just going to try to Toxic this Mon, but I'm probably going to die. Heat Crash is there. That is a problem, don't get me wrong, but I see what I have to do here, I think. So my Enshao is faster, right? So if I go my Enshao, I can attack them, and then Lottie can hopefully clean the game from there. That's what it looks like, but I don't know. I could go Lottie right now, but I don't have Draco, and Luster Purge isn't going to kill, so we're going to do this first. I'm just going to CC for damage. I don't want to lose because I missed Stone Edge. There we go. That should be Luster Purge range. I don't think I die in one hit. If I do, then we lost anyway, but... Okay, I don't die. Nice. <laughs> that was like the one thing that could have gone bad there. So now they have to go Charizard. I should Roost once just to get health back. <gasps> they crit me, dude. Why? I win that game if they don't crit me. That doesn't do over half. Charizard, Mega, Y. Yeah, as you can see, it doesn't do over half, and I could have roosted until Sun got went down, and then just won the game, but now I just lose because of that crit. <laughs> That's really dumb. If I had, um, what's it called? Dazzling Gleam here, maybe I had a chance, but unfortunately... Oh, if I hit in Power Iced, I would have 2 it KO'd. Let's play another one. Okay, I wish I hit in Power Ice the first time there, but I was kind of flustered because I got crit. Let's see what we can do right here. I want to lead off with my... Well, they have a Diancy, which I don't like. I'm going to lead off with my Tapu Koko, yeah, because they're going to lead with the Diancy. Now it's like mind gamey because they have the Lando. Obviously, I have HB Ice, right? I'm just going to do this. Yeah, they stay in and they're dead. Okay. I figured you don't risk Lando because it's so obvious that I... Okay, that's fine, I guess. Hidden Power Ice here. Maybe they pivot Iron Crown if they're Assault Vest. It dies every game. <laughs> that's a funny nickname. Yeah, they do pivot Iron Crown. I figured it could be. It's not Vest, though. It's just uh, Speed Quark. 
with maybe choice specs then. No, it's Calm Mind. Yeah, I figured the way they brought it in, it probably is. I have like a few plays. I think Gliscor is the correct one. I just can't really scout for HP Ice, which is unfortunate, but let's Earthquake here. See how they re respond to that. I'm assuming Ogre Pond could come in. Maybe the Lando if they want to do that. Okay, their stored power set. Don't like that. Do you have a move to hit me? If it's Focus Blast, we're gambling, dude. Whatever. But I don't think you have a move to hit me. Terra Dragon. Tachyon? That's not doing anything. I'm not doing anything either, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, weird situation we're in. So I get the damage there. I want to say that Mian Xiao kills. They have plus... They have Quark Defense with that many boosts. I have to do something else, so... Their speed is 324, meaning Lottie outspeeds. Okay. I think they kind of early committed with this, because now their Diancy is low, too. So we knock that out. And uh, they're kind of in a bad spot. Like, they can go Dragonite and try to set up. That's their next best thing. But I'm not going to lose to that as long as my Anshaw hits Stone Edge. Because I can live E-Speed. Okay, they sack the Diancy for some reason. I might make the Lottie Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor is so much better than Mystical Fire, I think. Who knows, though, because Mystical Fire can save me against Steel types a lot. We haven't fought a Mega Scizor yet, and if I ran into Mega Scizor with Heatran being my only check, it would actually be kind of bad. So let's move on here. Alright, I have another game. You know, I changed it to Draco Meteor, and now we have a team with a Mega Scizor on it. So, right on cue. I'm going to lead off with my Samurott and try to get up these hazards, as they don't want that. <laughs> Also, this one is a huge threat. Jeez. Can I live a U-turn? I can. Okay, yeah. I didn't really want to switch considering, you know, what's my switching? But luckily, I knew they wouldn't close combat. Do we miss, though? We don't. Let's click it again here. Wait, this is high crit, dude. Are you sure you want to risk these? Oh, you're doing that. But now you can keep doing that, so... Yeah, have fun with that. So this turn, they want to switch, right? They're either going to go out into Lando to kill me with Helmet or Urshifu, both of which Lottie is fine with. So now I can go for the Luster Purge here. I could try to Aura Sphere. Dude, I wish I had the Mystical Fire. Why did I get rid of it? <laughs> so sad. Okay, they do 61 to my guy there, but I can U-turn here. And I think this will catch the Lando, which will give me Lottie again. And this time I can just Luster Purge. And there's not a whole lot they can do about it, because I have Aura Sphere on the set. Yeah, like, what are you thinking there? <laughs> You're just going to die. <laughs> okay, this is obviously Choice Scarf now. Surging Strikes is a problem, but I have Scarf my Anshao, which might win looking at this game. Okay, does Surging kill? There is Shifu, Rapid Strike. 74 to 87, no it doesn't, so I need damage first. Which nobody gets other than my Anshao U-turning. <laughs> but I think that's fine, as long as I get that U-turn we should be good to go. But it has to be that. So they keep it, but that's okay, because now they're in range of Mayan Xiao because of spikes. Also, I'm pretty sure Coco is just going to win right now. Yeah, you can keep doing that. You can even sack your Lando while HP Ice it. Have an HP Ice. Go Zerushifu. The next sack is going to be my Heatran. I have to be careful about Scizor, so maybe it's not Heatran, maybe it's Lottie. Okay, yeah, now I go my Anshao, and I just do this, and it should be good.
Oh, that doesn't get to it KO'd. That's so bad. I have to click it again. Because I can't let them flip turn into that guy for free. Okay, so I just keep CCing. They can't, like, do much about it. Oh, now they flip turn? Okay, dude. I don't know what to do about that, but I think Alamumal is too low now. Mm. Saki Tran. Go you. Now they have to sack somebody at least, so there is that. It is just like... Can I close combat through this team or not? It's still so healthy. Okay, we got it, we got it. Because now I can Z-move. And we knock it out, and I think my Ansh cleans. Yep, now we're playing against a very offensive-looking team with a Toad Scroll on it. Not really sure what to think, but what I do know is that my Lottie is a very nice lead here. It is kind of set up fodder for Iron Crown, but there's not a whole lot to be done about that. Coco is going to win this game, I think. Coco looks amazing. Like, I wish I had Dazzle for Kirim, but outside of that, maybe I can Z-move the Kirim. Okay, so we're going to switch into Coco on the Spore, just so that can't be a thing. And now we're just going to U-turn here. Hopefully on an Earth Power. And we'll go Mayan Shao, I believe. I don't want to give them T-Spikes is the thing, so it might be better to go into a Special Attacker. Would they Spore again predicting Lottie? How good is this thing, Spadef? Toad, Screw. 120, yeah, I can't go Lottie on that. Like, I was hoping I could U-turn back into Lottie on an Earth Power or something and then Draco to kill, but I, that's not going to happen. Oh, it might happen, dude. That did a lot. Yeah, and they went for a, an attack, not a spore again. Uh, do I have to Draco, or can I Leaf Storm? I mean, or Luster Purge. Let's see. Toad Skrull. I mean, if it's max HP, I should kill. I'm just gonna go for Luster Purge here. Yeah, it killed, okay. So, now Crown is a threat. I, th I feel like Iron Crown comes in. I mean, you could go Valiant, that's a good play, but... One thing I don't like about Coco in this tier, by the way, is the fact that every time they have Iron Mons, you're just buffing them for them. And it's really sad. <laughs> but the Z-move is really good, especially since this guy's ground type is dead, I can just click electric moves the entire game. It's Calm Mind, yeah, that's not a problem. If you Terra Flying, I Toxic you after. Ooh, that's smart, but also the whole purpose of this mon is to deal with this mon, so I'm okay with it. Oh, it killed me, what? Okay, they're not fast right now, though, so... Tapu Koko comes in and Thunderbolts for the kill, I think. Surely this kills, right? Like, come on. I will be very surprised if this lives. So my check to Kyurem is Choice Scarf Mayan Shao, meaning I have to be worried about their Terra is the problem. If it's Terra Fairy, I might just lose to Dragon Dance Kyurem, who knows, but we'll figure it out. It's kind of a dilemma because I really want to like Thunderbolt the or Z-move the Kyurem, but Tapu Koko is very good. Oh, it lived and I'm dead. Yeah, that's really bad. I was like kind of skeptical whether that would kill or not, and unfortunately it didn't. Gyarados comes in. I mean, I'm gonna Draco this. Like, what else can I really do here? I could go hard my Shao, but it just doesn't seem smart. They're going for a grass move. I mean, crunch now, so I'm gonna go my Shao here, predicting the crunch. Yep, there we go. So we can catch that, knock it out here with the... I'm double-checking Calyx now. I don't want to lose again because of not knowing damage. Gyarados, Mega. Okay, it does kill. Um, Who's the best mod to bring in? Lottie. Forces and Val, which is what I want. 
Like, we're in a position now where I can basically win, but... Okay, they go this. And it's speed quirk. And then goes for knockoff. Does that mean you have CC and I just lose? Okay, I have to check now. Because if they have CC and I Terra Heatran, can it live from 56? Iron Valiant. Okay, unless they max roll me. If they max roll me, I die. But I have to tear here. I have to, and I have to click Magma Storm. And hit. It all needs to go right. There it is. Don't max roll. Okay, just hit the move. That's all I need. And we lose. Okay. Um, nothing I can do, right? I can go you. Yeah, it sucks, but I'm, it's my choice to use Magma Storm. Uh, I'll sack you off. Go you. Maybe live the hit somehow. I don't think Magma Shaft can live a close combat. Yeah, it just dies. And uh, this will probably kill me. Actually, though, if it doesn't, could I win? Oh, it just killed me, yeah. We have another game right here. Both of the losses today have been kind of just unlucky, but like I said, it is my choice to use Magma Storm. The Weather Ball crit, though, is uh, <laughs> kind of not my fault. Let's lead off with the Mayan Shao. They lead Bolt. Every time somebody leads off with this one, it just screams choice specs to me. I'm going to go for U-turn as they do that. Wait a minute, they really hate my Coco. But is it smart to go out into it now? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to U-turn on the Guard Chomp. Okay, so we do get that right. Could be Scarf, but most people don't run Scarfers in this metagame from what I've seen. They're not going to click. They're going to go out into their Skarmory here, so let's go Coco again. This time let's Thunderbolt, and we caught them. Nice. So we get it right and knock out the Skarm. That makes things really good for my Enshao. If it is choice packs, like what are they doing here? Because I want to go Gliscor, but Gliscor is still kind of good. Okay, it's just Calm Mind. That's not a problem. Okay, it's kind of a problem, but not too big of a problem because it clicked a Z move, and I believe Draco can still kill through the boost there. Like, Draco is insanely strong. So if they're at plus one, yeah, it does 93 men. That is to no bulk. But they're below 93, so I just have to hit the move. Based on how today has gone, I would not be surprised if I miss this Draco. Okay, we don't. And knock it out. There we go. Let's see what they do now. Hopefully they don't try to set up again, because I really don't want to get swept by Amon. Okay, this dies to Draco if they want to go this route. But I think I just want to go my Shao. Because my Anshia won't die to anything. Yeah, they do SD. I kind of figured they would click some sort of setup move. But now they're going to scale shot. So let's go ahead and U-turn into Coco. And just, yeah, all they want to do is sweep me. <laughs> let's HB Ice now. That's fine. You don't have your boost and you're in range of Luster Purge. So this should be game. Yeah, Luster Purge kills. I don't lose to Lucario because it can't Terra fighting anymore. I mean, Terra Normal, rather. Yeah, E-Speed won't kill me. And then, yeah, these guys can't win on their own, so... Yep, we have another game. Lots of threats on this team. We saw that the Urshifu is a big problem, but... What I do like is my Mayan Shao here. I'm gonna lead off with my... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna lead Mayan Shao as they lead Corviknight. Okay, <laughs> not a good start, but I'll go for U-Turn, predicting the Brave Bird. Okay, they go for Roost. What do I value more, Magma Storm or Rocks? I think Rocks. They go Tran. Yeah, I'll go Samurott on that. Okay, they're making a lot of passive plays, which I really like. They're gonna click Roost here, but then if they Roost, then they have to get Encored. Let's go for a rate. Okay, well, you're getting Encored, but I really wish I hit that. <laughs> That's just really unfortunate.
I mean, I have Sucker Punch. Which I'll knock you out with. Now you're going to go out into the Court of Night and Defog, right? So let's hit you there. Encore is like obvious, but I'm going to so I'm gonna click Cecil Sedge again. Encore is so obvious. I'm clicking Ceaseless. At least this way I get a spike out of it. Or we just miss again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, video game. Hmm. Goes for CC. I don't know what to do. Like, I just keep on missing moves. But that's just Pokemon, I guess. Let's Luster Purge here. They might go Heatran this turn is what I'm thinking. No drop, but that's okay, I guess. They toxic me. I'm doubling to Coco this turn. Yep. Always, always, always. And we're knocking it out. Without a second thought. Low bunny. Glide score angle. That's just Earthquake, right? Goes Tran. Okay, luckily this guy doesn't actually have, like, good sets. So we're still able to kind of deal with this team pretty handily here. Do you have Triple Axel? Pup? That's not a problem. I mean, okay, you're doing a lot of damage, but it's, like, not a big deal to me. Because now you're in range of this guy. So I gotta not get thunderclapped. That's like the one way I lose. So let's not get thunderclapped here. And instead go you. Just earth power it. Ooh, okay. I see you. It's not gonna win you the game, but I see you. Let's get up rocks just to make sure that we win, you know? And now we just go Coco and win the game. I'll drop the Z move here just because I kind of feel like it. Knock that out. Now they're going to be forced to either go one of these two to knock me out, and then we just win the game. We have another game. My opponent is running Energifu, which is very scary. I think we can break this team, though, using my Samurott Coco Core. I'm going to expect the Urshifu lead and lead off with my... I mean, actually, that's, that's really bad. Let's lead you. And... Let's predict Scarf Close Combat. They're never going to click Surging here, so let's go Gliscor. They did U-Turn. Okay. I could have stayed in on that, but it's fine, I guess. Terra steals, like, immediately, without hesitation, is interesting. Goes Tyranitar. Hmm, I'm kind of confused. Like, why commit to that Terra so early? Okay, I don't really have a good Stone Edge switch in. But I can't sack my Insha when it's my only speed control for the Urshifu. So I think I either have to stay in, which I'm kind of leaning towards at this point, or I go hard a Lottie. But I think I stay in. Goes for knockoff, okay. Yeah, I'm going to stay in again and put it in range of Aura Sphere. Okay, they just knocked me out there. They did click Stone Edge. I don't think that's Aura Sphere range, unfortunately. So I go U. And I U-turn. <laughs> what is this? Why is this nicknamed Eardrum? I'm going to go Lottie here. And we're just going to click Draco Meteor. It didn't kill. Dude, I thought that always kills, which is why I made this play, huh? Now if they have Pursuit, I'm dead. And I needed this mod. Okay, luckily it seems as though they don't. You're not clicking Psychic move here. Yeah, Mystical Fire. That did a lot. Your choice specs. That has to be. So I can double Samurott this turn. Okay, they sack the Lando. They're going to bring in the Urshifu again. Just going to keep on making the same play. Gliscor, like... Did they hate this mon, is what I'm trying to say here. So Choice Specs Draco is probably their next move. Can I live that and scout what they're clicking by clicking Roost? Uh, Gliscor against Latios with the Choice Specs. 77 to 91. I can Roost here. Doesn't kill? There we go. Now they have to switch. Hmm. 
goes Ferrothorn. Yeah, that is kind of understandable. <laughs> I'm gonna go Samurott here, because they're gonna click Leech Sheet every time. And let's click Ceaseless Edge to get up Hazards. And weaken this Mon too. I'll keep setup. I mean, I'll keep uh, fodder. Why not? They missed their lead sheet. That's actually really big. I needed that kind of. Yeah, I mean, I've uh, gotten my fair share of hacks against me, but I guess it wasn't against you, so I can't really say much in that regard. Okay, so now I can go Gliscor. And go right for the Earthquake. If they go Lottie, like, we know how I play it, right? Actually, I can't really do that, because now they're just going to click Luster Purge, and I can't deal with it anymore. So I have to sack somebody, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so... I think Coco is going to be my win condition. I can't defog, unfortunately. I want to defog, but it's not happening. Okay, there's the drop. Now they're going to knock me out. That's fine. So, Coco is what guarantees a kill here with the Z move, and that's what I'm leaning towards doing. So that's what we're going to do. But I think I lose, because they still get one more kill with the Urshifu. I need them to throw away their Toxapex for no reason. That's how I win. But they're never going to do that. Yeah, they go this. No, they, they know they can just click Surging here. Yeah, it's like a no-brainer. I have to go you. Hit him up with that move, but it doesn't matter, unfortunately. I, I don't win. Oh, wait, unless they choke like this? I think they choked, because now I Luster Purge through them, and I have Aura Sphere for the last Mon. Okay, we won. Uh, it was that easy, I guess. We have another game right here. I'm going to be honest, I don't think my team is too well built against Urshifu. Maybe if you run this team, you should change, like, Gliscor to Skarmory, because that thing is a huge threat. I'm going to lead off with my Samurott. And I'm going to try to do what I did last game, where I go Gliscor, knowing they're not going to Surging Strikes immediately. They're going to click U-turn, right? Yeah, okay, so like now what passive play do they want to make against it? Because they're all passive. This is just Heatran Angle. Okay. This doesn't thaw, does it? Game, why? <laughs> I, did, I need my Stealth Rocks, uh, I don't even know what to say. Okay, let's go, my Anshao, and let's U-turn. And we can try to deal with this Lando, I guess. Let's go Samurott here, get a Pazards. We, we can miss our Ceaseless Edge too, that's cool. Just gonna click it again, because I feel like it at this point. They're gonna U-turn, I'm surprised they didn't crit me. <laughs> And, uh, I think they're gonna go... Okay, let's miss again while we're at it, yeah. Let's click it again here. Maybe we can actually hit this one. No, no, we don't want to hit that one either? Okay. They can they can go to Shifu and U-turn again. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go play um, a different game before we have to end off the video. Be right back. Um, anyway, we have this game against a Slithering Mega Low Bunny team. I definitely want to use Slithering on one of my teams sometime soon. I really think that Pokemon is cool. I'm gonna lead off with Lottie here. I mean, they're just gonna fake out. So let's go you. That does so much. <laughs> Jeez, like, can you chill? I mean, you're not staying in, right? Okay, they go Lele, which is a crazy switch. Let's go Heatran here, and... I mean, I actually have no reason not to Magma Storm. Yeah, I'm just gonna click Magma Storm. I don't think Rocks is even that good. 
it doesn't really help with a ton because Zapdos is going to be boots and I actually don't want to incentivize them to rapid spin with their Great Tusk because my speed control doesn't really deal with that very well. Oh, they went hard into it. Perfect. I'm so tempted to rig this Ice Spinner. I can't sack this though, because I will lose to Lele on the spot. But I know they're Ice Spinnering, dude. I kinda wanna go Samurott too. Samurott's not that good in this game. Yeah, they did Ice Spinner. If I stayed in with Heatran, I would've looked like a god, but unfortunately, I didn't. <laughs> Okay, but we still got all the plays right, so that's what matters. Goes Ferrothorn. No spit have drop is crazy. Let's just weaken it with Aura Sphere. Okay, that's doing a lot. Can you not gyro ball me for 56% damage? Now they Elite Sheet. Okay, they're definitely playing well. Okay, I s scratched that. They decided to click Protect on a Stealth Rocking Pokemon. And we are hitting our Magma Storms, which is uh, very helpful. <laughs> Let's go Gliscor here on the U-turn, and I mean, if they don't have triple axle or ice punch on Mega Lopunny, this is looking kind of bad for them. Maybe they have HBI Zapdos, but I have Spidef Investment. I still don't think I stand to take that hit. Okay, this has to have triple axle if they're doing this. I think I kind of want to tear a fairy it and just Earthquake. I would went for CC, so now they're going to take a lot of damage. Okay, apparently I should have just Earthquaked again, because this guy is content with sacking his Mon. He's going Ferrothorn now. I think I still keep that and go you. You can knock off my Black Glasses as long as I get up all my Hazards. Although, click that again real quick, if you don't mind. Heatran's at 87. I think Heatran is the key to winning this game. Okay, they did make the play. I was hoping they wouldn't. Goes for Thunderbolt. I was faster, meaning they're defensive. Good to know. Because that means Lottie comes out here and hits Luster Purge, and I don't think you live it. Or if you do, you're taking a lot. That's fine. We can knock you out there. And all my hazards are still up because you never had Defog. So this should be a win. At least that's what it seems like, but let's not throw while we're at it. I mean, it's looking like I would have to throw really badly because this is dead in one turn. This is like limited switch-ins. It's going to get to a point where my end show can actually maybe sweep them, which would be a really cool way to end the video. So I would uh, definitely not complain about that. I think I'll sack Gliscor here. As they close combat, hoping I choke and go Heatran, I guess. I just sack this here. <laughs> I really thought that wouldn't kill for a second, so... If I want to get this Mayan Shao sweep, what move is it going to be with? I mean, close combat, but they have a 4x resist just chilling. I think here I want to go Lottie. And I think I just click Luster Purge every time. Goes Ferrothorn. I guess we never get Spidef Drops on Ferrothorn. I'm going to click Aura Sphere here. I think you have to double protect, which is what they're going to go for, right? But even that's probably not enough. Maybe if you get the double protect, then dodge a magma storm. Like, something like that could win you the game. Okay, they do go for it. They know what they have to do. But how lucky are you? Are you lucky enough to dodge again? I don't think you are, because you clearly couldn't dodge earlier, so... Okay, you did dodge. Um, I'm kind of like... Remember that way that I said I could lose? It's kind of happening, but... I think I see what I have to do. 
Let's first knock off these leftovers to mitigate this thing as a threat. Because, you know, the healing is the problem, right? Go Slitherwing. Okay, this dies to another knockoff looking at the damage. That's not killing. And then I get the knockoff anyway. And then I should be able to deal with Lele using Heatran. So I think we win. Every time here. Because you, you have to go Ferrothorn, take the knockoff, then I go Coco, drop the Z-move. Which I think the Z-move, even if they protect on it into the regular Thunderbolt, will enable my Heatran to just clean up the game here. It's not going to be a Mayansha sweep unless they decide to somehow throw here, but... I think they're calcing right now whether Lele can live the knockoff, but they should know it doesn't. Like U-turn? Th that was a U-turn earlier that I clicked, right? Oh, they want to do it, but it doesn't live. Like, I'll, I'll show you right now. It, it falls over. <laughs> and then... Unfortunately, it still won't be a Mayansha sweep, but it is what it is, I guess. And they go ahead and forfeit right there. So I did hope you all enjoyed. Overall, really unlucky live. Like, we could have easily been undefeated today. And I think we lost to, like... Okay, that one second to last game, I don't even want to talk about. But we lost to Weathered Ball. And we lost to a Magma Storm Miss against an Iron Valiant, right? So it is what it is. I did have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you next time.